Hi everybody, welcome back to my stable. Today, I want to tell you a story of my most valuable car, my 1964 250 Lusso Competizione. In 2014, I had my eyes on a silver 250 Lusso. It was a regular model, and it was up in the auction at Gooding & Company. So I wanted to buy that car. Now, I had a strategy that I went to buy that car. It was when we first started, because everybody, usually what auctions do is they start the price really low so everybody can play and get involved. And then as, as it progresses, you know, people, whether it's competition or ego or just emotionally being involved, they want to bid it up and they were willing to pay usually more than what they were willing to pay for. So that's a very dangerous thing because then you have more people kind of competing against your car. So my strategy was to put the top price that I feel like I was willing to pay, just the top price where I would have ended up anyways, and start with that and it would just kind of shock everybody. Well, when the auction started, I did that and the, I, g I gave the price that was the top price. Everybody didn't, was shocked. They didn't know what they were doing. They were stunned. And of course, the auctioneer had to, uh, when they didn't hear any other bids, he was going to hammer. So one hammer, two hammer, and three sold and I got the car. Now this car was not that car because I sold that a while back. So let me tell you a story how I got this car. Prior to this car, I had a 1987 288 GTO Evolution. Now that's a very special car. It's a prototype car. Mine had a, there was only five made. Mine was 650 horsepower, it was like 2,000 pounds. And it was a race car for Class B racing uh, in, in Italy. Of course, they produced this car the race was too dangerous, too many drivers were getting killed, so they stopped that race. But that car, that uh, 288 uh, GTO Evolution, was such an important R&D to creating the F40, which is a very iconic car for Ferrari. Anyways, I had that car, it was great, but that car was to be driven on the track, and I couldn't drive it on the roads, and you know, I really like to drive the cars uh, on the road, usually. so. I decided to say maybe I should trade it out. Now, the way it works with these kind of special cars, you know, people don't put them on internet or, 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 or auto trader or magazines or anything because everybody wants to be very discreet. So everybody has their broker, their private brokers. And so these brokers have some network where they can um, they communicate with each other to, to see, hey, this car is available and who's a, who would be interested in buying it and so forth. And, it's kind of very old school, but that's how it, it gets around. Well, my broker was able to communicate with another broker that had a customer that said, hey, you know what? We wanted to go ahead and I have a car here, a very special 1964 250 Lusso Competition only. There was not a lot done in, um, that exists. So would you be willing to trade for that? Um, and so I said, you know what? That would be really up my alley because that car can be driven on the road and it's a track car. So that's how I came about with this car. I love about driving uh, these classic cars, and this is a 1964 250 Lusso Competition, um, is, uh, is that, that, that sound, that engine sound, right? We got the six carbs sucking in the air, going into the carburetors, and producing this power. Uh, you got the exhausts that are just makes the, you know, makes the car sound so great. You got the power that on the V12, 12, 12 cylinders um, pushing the car and it's just, it's just raw, you know, it's just a raw power and audio and visual senses. You know, everything on this car is still, it's all manual, it's all in your control. You know, all the gear, all the gauges all matter. How, how the water gauges, how if it's heating up, uh, oil is heating up. How much, of course, gas. How much? How much? Uh, uh, if your, if the car, uh, if the alternator is recharging the battery, you know. Obviously, the RPM. You know how much revolution per minute it's going, right? Uh, the, 
the stick shift, the gears. You know, having to manually do the blip of gas in order to change the gears in order so the revolutions, because there's no synchro on these cars, so in order to match that up, in order to be able to have a transition, a smooth transition, a shifting of the gears. All that is manual. Obviously, the clutch, right? Um, there's, the, there's the clutch, there's the brake, there's the gas, and all that is important. It's all in your control. You know, we'll obviously in racing, we'll do heel and toe, where, where you can brake and at gas blip to change gears, all that stuff and as you're slowing down, uh, up shifting gear and down, gear, down shifting gears. It, it's just so, you know, it's just uh, old school technology and it's still great because it, it gets you to be more so engaging to it. You know, nowadays the new car, the car does everything for you. You just push the gas, you're, you're holding a steering wheel. And that's it, you know, and brake, right? So simple, there's not much to, to think about. The shifting's all done automatic for you. The sound, we don't, I don't, I don't look at the technometer to know when I change gears. It's the sound of the, of where the engine is at that certain revolution per minute, like 5,000 RPMs. I know that's where I'm at right there. So it's just so, um, it's such an experience. I guess it's a very special car. It's, it's not a regular Lusso, it's a competition. You know, competition car, which means the setup is uh, you know, it's 50 more horsepower than the regular Lusso. And this, this car, the radiator, the suspension, the exhaust, the whole setup, the, it's being lighter, the roll cage, everything is done for the racing purpose. It's made to be as light as possible in order, and as fast and powerful as possible in order to race. Obviously, this car was uh, originally uh, in its life, a, um, a regular production uh, road car. Because no, no Lusos were first designed by the factory to be a race car. None of them were done in aluminum alloy, I mean alloy bodies. Um, they're steel bodies, so they theoretically are not full competition cars. They're at best semi-competition on any of the ones out there. But it was brought back to the factory and reset up to do racing. And this car did a lot of races by drivers and by, you know, in various, very uh, famous uh, tracks. It's crashed, it's been, and it's been rebuilt and come alive again. And it has such a, a rich history. For me, I want to set it back to its glory days of it being a track car. So it's all set up for that. It's a, it's a, it's a racing uh, road car. And, and I think that's how it drives the best. Uh, I had a, another a regular Lutso, like I said before. It was much slower. It sounded much different than this car. This is an exciting car to drive.